I tracked it back to where I first started feeling bad around about, I was 18 years of age. And I finally got diagnosed when I was 43. So I went all those years basically not knowing really what I had or what I was fighting against. My name's Mark Eustace, and I know from my experiences, it's always better out than in. I love playing footy, yeah. But what, what happened was, I'd track it back to like, back in 1983, while I didn't feel quite right. My form went down, I couldn't train properly. You know, I just felt really bad, had lots of aches and pains in my body. I'd play the game and, and after that, I'd just be absolutely mentally just exhausted from it. And I'd cry sometimes after the game and that sort of thing. You know, I was just told to stop feeling sorry for myself, lift my game or you're, you're basically out of the club. In those days, mental health issues, nobody really knew anything about it. I just really closed up because I didn't know what was wrong with me either. When I retired, I had such a sense of relief that, oh my God, this is over. I don't have to do it anymore. Like, I don't have to feel like that anymore. But the problem was I did. <laughs> and you know, after that, I, I, I began to drink. Then I got to a real bad stage where with the mental health issues, I medicated myself with, with uh, cocaine to, to keep myself going. It was just this, Juggernaut, it was just rolling along, rolling along. I was, I was just headed for disaster. And then it just come to a stage where a mate of mine from Sydney Swans took me to a, to a doctor, a GP, and they said, look, do you want to want to go to rehab? And the day I sort of went into rehab, I, I, I got a lift with my mate, and they took me in there, and all of a sudden, all those years just hit me all at once. I just couldn't believe what I'd done to myself. And from that day on, I've been clean and sober for nine years and 10 months. And uh, my depression, bipolar disorder is pretty stable at the moment. I can't express enough since I got help, how it's changed my life. Talking and communicating is just really so important, whether it's your, your GP, your, your mates, your family. You know, just sit down and just talk about it. Just get it out. Just don't bottle it in, because it's just going to eat you away. I've created a real passion for trying to help people, and by telling my story, I think it's given me a lift. That is therapy for myself, when I can get in front of some people and actually tell my story.